All right, so any of you guys who watch the me, fuck, you guys know the influence Elvis had on my life. So how could an Elvis movie come out for the first time in theaters, an Elvis related movie like this since 1978? How could a movie come out and I'm not going to react to it? So here we go. Face 30 years in the like making, real. Baz Luhrmann directed this, Austin Butler as Elvis. And there's things I want to say about the movie. And I think for Elvis purists like me, we're going to have things to say because listen, in the end, there was only one Elvis. And nobody can ever replace him. No one can ever look like him. No one can act like him, dance like him, sing like him. He was a unique person. And the reason why he's remembered today and all this stuff is still going on is because of how special he was. The computer generated. So let's watch it. And I'm going to clear my mind and I'm going to look at it from the perspective of somebody who doesn't know who Elvis is. So let's see. You ain't no more hamburger, bigger than all of them, do you? Love me tender, love me dear, all my dreams. Ba 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 Viva! Viva! Las Vegas! Here's another one, guys. I'm gonna give you, so it's not my initial reaction, but I'm gonna tell you guys, you know, this is what I think, okay? First, the cinematography is amazing. It's gonna look beautiful. And honestly, I feel, you know, as a purist, I'm not gonna look at it as a purist, I'm gonna give you my perspective, but as a purist of Elvis, you know, there's some things that are gonna be off in the movie, just because that's the way movies are made. You know, you gotta change certain things to, to, to fit the movie, make it more dramatic, add things to the movies. But the way the movie looks is truly, truly breathtaking. And, um, Austin Butler, you know, I felt like when they chose him, you know, I felt like they could have found somebody who looks a little bit more like Elvis. I thought if he would have gained like maybe 10 pounds, he'd look closer because he has the high cheekbones, you know, and I, and I feel like the, as the younger Elvis, I think he looks a lot, uh, a lot better than as the older one. Um, but this is the thing, capturing a person Capturing somebody like Elvis is a one-of-a-kind thing. It's very, very tough, if almost impossible to do. And one thing is Austin is a good actor. And when you're a good actor, okay, you have to tap into the soul of a person. And if he studied the way he's supposed to, and supposedly he did, and from the trailer, he looks like he brought, you know, you got to bring the essence of Elvis. And the most important thing about this movie, okay, is bringing it for the young generation, bringing Elvis back to the young generation so they can see who Elvis was to be appreciated like all of us have our whole lives. I mean, look, the trailer's already got eight and a half, nine million views already in a few days. So it's already happening. So if it brings back Elvis to where he's in the spotlight again, then look at, at what the movie did. And I think that's the whole point. And it looks like it's going to be a good movie. You have to look past the fact that Austin doesn't look that much like Elvis. But if the spirit is there, is the essence of Elvis is there, that's the most important thing. So I'm excited. I'm definitely going to the 12 o'clock, uh, the showing. i got to find somebody who wants to stick around to that later night and watch it with me. But you guys know, Elvis is a huge part of my life. He's done so much for my life, you know. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Blue, blue Christmas.